guys um today i'm going to show you how to get like fun beachy waves um using a three barrel curling iron this one is bedhead and i got it at ulta for like twenty dollars but it was probably about four years ago um but i'm sure you can find these everywhere like target ulta sephora i like this one though because this um actually this barrel moves in and out to kind of give you a different look this is kind of a more of a triangle look where this would give you more of like a crimper kind of look. Um, so I'm going to use this part of it. And I'm just going to pin up my hair. Well, half of it anyway. And as far as products that I have in there already, I just have um, like a volumizer in there. So I'm going to take a little section. And I'm just going to go down the line of hair here and um, heat it up so pretty easy so my next section I'm going to go right over the bottom one so my next section will start right here where this bottom one is so the top barrel will go on top of that one and then I'm not gonna go all the way to the end sorry it's kinda hard to see here I'm going to leave a little hair out because I want it to be kind of messier. So, I'm probably going to leave about that much out. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's BG Wave, so it can get kind of messier. And I already did lift half a little bit, so I'm just going to drop down the next layer. And do the same thing. If you want it to hold like all day and all night for you, you can use um, like a, a light hairspray. Um, I prefer air control from Aveda because your hot tools won't stick to your hair when you spray it on your hair. Sometimes when you use like hairspray and you go to like curl your hair or take a hot tool off of it, your hair is still stuck to it and you're like, ah, air control won't do that. So I really love that for um, kind of helping to prep the hair a little bit and keep it holding all day long. So again, I'm going to kind of leave out this bottom half. And this hair is awesome for like day two hair too. Like tomorrow if you don't feel like washing your hair or styling it or doing anything to it, you could add um, like a salt spray to it. Um, bedhead, not bedhead, but um, Bumble and Bumble have like a salt spray, which is awesome for it. Um, Aveda has a bee curly hairspray which I like to spray. You just want something like kind of gritty and salty um, or kind of like a wetter hairspray or product or you could throw like pomade over it because um, it will kind of get fluffy and you don't really want to brush this out tomorrow. You just want to like scrunch it and add more product to it. So it's going to be pretty wild but I like big wild hair so bring it on. So I'm going to just try to get to this back area. So it does take some time to get all these little sections. And again, I'm going to take the top part of it and go right over the bottom. Just like that. Just like that. I do, you do. Just like that. And it just came to my head. I don't know who sings that. It's going to bother me now. Very random thought. Okay, gotta make sure I get all my hair. And you really do not have to be perfect with like sections or anything like that. Just throw some hair in there. You're good to go. You make a carpal tunnel though if you do this for too long. And mine's up to the fullest heat. Um, if you have like finer texture hair, you can probably put it on a lower setting and then your hair won't feel so, or you won't get it so damaged. And I'm probably going to just do this in about three sections of hair. So the bottom, the middle, and then the top half. You may have to take breaks when you do this yourself, but I'm trying to do it kind of fast for you. I'm just going to rest my elbow and just hold it. 
Okay. So there's that half. Now we're just going to drop this last half down. I'm just going to spray the top a little bit here. I have a little bit of back combing in it already. Okay, now we'll take this section. Voila. And we wait. Um, this is also fun for like day two hair if you want to throw your hair put in like a fun, messy ponytail and then just bring some of these um, kind of zigzaggy pieces down. That's always kind of fun. Or throw a headband in there or something. Um, and then sometimes I'll keep my bangs down when I do this. It depends on how it looks. Sometimes I'll just pin it back. If it's feeling a little too 80s for me, then I'll do that. Do -do -do -do. I sing a lot to myself. Oh. See, that's what will happen if you use a harder hairspray. So your hair will actually get stuck in it. Again, leaving out some drag. My hair's a little snarly back here since I just sprayed that hairspray. Oh, yeah. Okay. Boom. It would be nice if I had a friend that would do this for me. Or if you have friends and you want to do it to each other. Way more fun. Especially if you can drink wine while doing it. Okay. I don't know if you guys have seen that video, that YouTube video of that little girl who, um, she's got to be like 12, who was curling her hair with the wand and she did like this little section right here, <laughs> fried off her whole hair. Oh my god, it's hilarious. If you have not seen it, you have got to YouTube it because it made me actually laugh a lot out loud. Just her facial expressions were priceless. I think she was in shock that she fried her whole hair off. Don't worry, this won't do that. If you're worried about it, you can always use um, like a heat protectant spray or um, prep or lotion or something to put in your hair before you add um, the heat of like an iron to it. Leaving some out. Now we do these bangs. Or layers, I guess you could say. Throw some background music on. I'm the clumsiest person you're ever going to meet. Okay. So that's kind of what this looks like. All messy and fun. Um, now I'm going to hairspray it because I like big hair. And you can almost kind of like stretch it out here a little bit. And the, you really do not want to comb this out. You just want to like scrunch, break it up. Oh, I shot myself in the face. And spray it. See how, how big it gets? I don't know about you, but I love big hair. Bigger the better. Bigger the better. Okay. So that's, yeah, what this looks like. See, so sometimes the bangs get a little funky that you can kind of pin them up which is totally what I'm gonna do because they look a little 80s bring some of these pieces down voila get in a little a little bend to this little I don't even know do hangy there okay Anyway, so you get the gist of it. This is kind of the wave that you get. Spray it, scrunch it, throw pomade in there. Um, don't brush it out because it will get super fluffy like 80s style hair, which is not cool anymore. 
Um, but yeah, so this is it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you have fun with it. Okay, bye.